about for people doing yoga, mm -hmm. the importance of knowing their doshas and important importance of learning Ayurveda not just from a physical oh I read one book or two books sure and now I teach yoga and which is so prevalent because they could have these gyms that teach yoga which is a wonderful thing it's getting into the masses but what um, do, are they really embracing yoga or are they really embracing Ayurveda from one article so how can well there's certainly a popular form of yoga as opposed to a traditional form of yoga and a popular form of Ayurveda as opposed to a traditional form of Ayurveda and they are very, very different, and, and that's not surprising here in the United States. We like to dabble in many traditional systems, whether it's Native American or whether it's from, uh, you know, the South America somewhere. You know, we like to dabble in different things, try to try to see how it relates to ourselves. We like to explore many things. There's a there's a there is a group of people who who do yoga and just keep it as a form of exercise for themselves, and it's not really taking yoga more deeply inside of themselves. Yoga is a whole system of, that leads a person towards self-realization. It's a philosophy of living. Uh, it's a philosophy of meditation. It's a, it's a, it's a, whole, it's a whole practice. Well, likewise, Ayurveda, there are some people who will read an article about Ayurveda, or read a book about it, get a sense of their, their constitution, and then they'll maybe just follow a diet and we, we are a diet-obsessed community here in this country, and so many people will uh, begin to explore Ayurveda just because they're interested in another new, interesting form of diet to follow. And that's okay, because that will help people to a certain degree, and it helps people to uh, begin to relate to the knowledge of Ayurveda. And when they're ready, then they might go a little bit more deeply into what Ayurveda truly is on a deeper system. It's a it's a whole system of understanding who we are and how we relate to the world around us through all five of our senses. So it's not only what we eat, it's what we smell, it's what we look at, it's what we hear, it's what we touch. It's about self-understanding and self-knowledge, and it's about understanding our relationship to the world around us. So Ayurveda really is a, a practice of life. It's uh, translated, most people who, who are familiar with it know that it is the science or the knowledge of life. And every aspect of life fits into it. There's really no part of life that is not a part of Ayurveda. So whether you're a person who is just interested in it on, on Sundays and that's it, and that's okay because Ayurveda is, is really for everybody and it's a knowledge. And it's a knowledge that grows in people over time. So some people are, are more ready to dive in and know things very deeply because that is their nature. And so for those individuals, one can go very, very deep into the knowledge and one could either use that knowledge for healing themselves, for expanding their perceptions and their, their knowledge, or one might want to become a, a practitioner and an expert in the field of Ayurvedic medicine. Uh, Likewise, likewise, the same thing is true of yoga. There are people who just dabble in it, and there are people who uh, live in, in ashrams and live the entire lifestyle of yoga, or live the entire lifestyle of yoga out in the city as well. And so, uh, you know, everybody approaches it from really where they are as a unique individual.